Have you ever wondered about the future of real estate? Now, I don't just mean pricing and inventory and market talk. I mean, what houses look like and how we live and what changes in commuting and things like that. Well, there's starting to be some massive technological changes that we know are approaching us into 2030. And some of those are drastically going to change the landscape of how we live in and consume real estate. There are many um, ideas written out there. I'm gonna go over some of the more concrete ones and give you some ideas on what the future of real estate might look like. Hey guys, Jake Green here with Team Utah Cribs at Berkshire Hathaway Utah Properties. So here's some converging technologies and probably one of my favorite books I read in the last year is Peter Diamandis, The Future is Faster Than You Think. It is mind blowing. Check it out if you haven't heard about it, at least by the audible version and listen to it. But he talks about the transportation industry and I'm gonna relate how that's gonna affect real estate. So let me just share with you a couple of quick articles and give you an idea of what this future is looking like. So all of us know that autonomous cars are coming. Okay, we've heard this for decades. Um, we know Tesla has the technology and is working on it. And we know there's quite a few other startups that are, but the reality is they're expecting in the next eight years that one in 10 cars on the roads in the US are autonomous, meaning driving themselves. Okay, cool. Let's keep that in the back of our minds. Secondarily, let's separate autonomous, which is the car driving itself, from electrical vehicles. We all know electrical vehicles, um, you know, have been selling pretty hot right now. Um, there's about a million electrical vehicles on the road in the US. That was a 2018 number, so I'm sure that's probably doubled by now. Um, but the predictions into 2030 are that that uh, the current inventory will more than triple. So it'll be about 18.7 million electric vehicles on the, on the roads by 2030. And um, that still only represents about 10% of vehicles, uh, but the projections as far as percentages of diesel trucks and uh, delivery trucks that are going to be um, autonomous or electrical by 2030 are much higher. We're talking a third to 50% of vehicles on the road. What does this have to do with real estate? It has to do with real estate in a couple of ways. One, especially because of COVID and everything that's gone on, a lot of companies allowing people to work from home, this has drastically changed the trends in migration patterns and people commuting. I could dive into all that data, but just trust me, that's drastically changed in the last two years. Um, but Autonomous and electrical vehicles also change real estate values a bit. Think about this. For uh, the history of US single family home pricing, it's been a detriment to be by a freeway or to hear traffic noise. Your, your value of your real estate is less than a house that's not on the freeway, right? But as we transfer into this future of transportation where cars are uh, very quiet, if not silent, and they're autonomous, there are some benefits to being very close or on the freeway. Access, views. Um, and so uh, I think that's one thing that will really change in the future is values of real estate will normalize along freeway systems versus um, not being adjacent. And here is another big one. I know you've all seen articles and YouTube videos and it's popular on social media to talk about manufactured housing or mobile housing. And this is just one of billions of articles. Um, but I've often gotten asked, why hasn't mobile or pre-built or manufactured cool homes like the picture I'm showing here uh, skyrocketed? Why aren't you seeing them everywhere? They're, they're affordable, they can be built in factories, they can be delivered. And the short answer is bureaucracy. Um, many of the laws and rules governing planning and zoning commissions in every different town, county, and municipality, they're archaic. Um, I, I don't want to frustrate anybody here, but trust me, we've spent a good five years. We even invested in a mobile home manufacturing facility in Joplin, Missouri, only to learn that you're fighting the most ridiculous uphill battle to bring this new cool product to cities and counties and have them fight you on density. So not to get into nimbyism here, but if you want me to boil it down to the one reason you're not seeing this type of housing explode in the US, because it has exploded in other markets, 
in Germany, this type of housing is huge. Um, in Korea, it's huge. Um, it's because of our bureaucracy and archaic laws and things like that. But that trend will change. And you'll not only start seeing mobile housing, but you'll see futuristic mobile housing like the picture I showed you and housing that can be shipped, transferred, put on a diesel and moved. Um, and overlay that with the new commuting and people working from home and all that stuff, you're really going to see a drastic change in the future of housing over the next decade, in my opinion. Perhaps I'm going to say the most drastic change we've seen in the last century. I hope that gets your wheels spinning. Here at Utah Cribs, we don't just watch the market, we pay attention to the future so we can educate you when it comes to your real estate.